Hey, well, the winch is back up. It is up in the new position for where the uh, elevator is going to be. And I want to show you a few details on how I did it. This is a Harbor Freight hoist uh, assembly, but I'm actually using it as a winch of sorts. And it doesn't really matter. Um, it was designed to be hung below a pipe, um, but that doesn't work for me. So I used strut. Put a piece of strut in there. You can see the hangers here. This block here, which will get adjusted when I need it, is a counter torque. When the wire pulls on the top of the drum, it tries to twist the entire assembly forward. This keeps it from twisting. So it will get adjusted into the proper position, but you need this, okay? You, you need it. That's all I can say is opposite of where it's pulling, you need a counter torque. Now I'm using thread rod, half inch thread rod, and ooh, if you look closely, my, it's dark up there. Okay, yeah. You, there's the rod, there's rod, and it comes out in the backing plate again is unistrut all right so it's strut with the appropriate square washers all the appropriate hardware and if you say al that's not double nutted i'll say you're right and it will be double nutted double nutted before it goes into operation okay but the big deal is i schlepped this thing up here got those rods lined up and popped them in uh, a little tip is I did use an installation bit, a small installa installer's bit, to drill the pilot hole using a square to make sure I was going straight through. And then I used a larger bit to over drill the holes to make them half inch. I don't have a half inch ship auger. I don't know why, but I don't need one yet. So it's all gone together. It's going together well. I need to put an outlet up here now so I have some place to plug this in. So that's it for today. Harbor Freight hoist being actually being used as a winch.